This is Norbert Herber from Indiana University and GQ Audio. This lesson gets into some of the more challenging ideas and techniques presented in the book Composing Music for Games by Chance Thomas. The idea of a layered loop is fairly straightforward. Each individual musical loop is composed so that it can repeat indefinitely. Then, in a middleware program such as WISE, these loops are layered on separate tracks within the same music object. As states change within the game world, individual music objects that contain different tracks are mixed in real time. This creates a version of the game music that's appropriate to what the player is currently doing. So here is how you create a layered loop music object in WISE. We start at the interactive music hierarchy. Right click on the default work unit and choose import audio files. Click add files and we can select to import multiple files with click, shift, click, and then open and import. Everything comes into the default work unit and we can see that we have three music segments right here inside our default work unit. Now we're going to move things around in order to create the layered loops. Each of these music segments is a loop in its own right. In order to get the layered loop technique to work correctly, we're going to combine these in different ways so that the layers add together, build in intensity. Open up to ax open up loop layer 1 segment can to get at the audio file that's there. Let's switch the layout to interactive music, just makes it a little easier to see the things that are relevant to us. I'm going to right click on this uh, music track and choose copy. Then I'm going to go down to loop layer 2 and I'm going to paste it in there. I'm also going to paste it into loop layer 3. What this means is that when this object plays, it's going to play layer 1 and 3. When layer 2 is queued, it's going to play 1 and 2. Layer 1 will just have the loop layer 1 audio file. In order for this to have, uh, in order for it to be complete, I need to do the same thing here with layer 2. I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to paste it into loop layer 3. So here you can see as we move across these different objects, we build intensity. We start with loop layer 1, add loop layer 2, and then add loop layer 3. Talking about all of these loop layers reminds me how important it is to name these different objects with something that you're going to remember, something that's intuitive. So let's fix that right now. I'm going to choose loop layer one, and I'm just going to call this explore music. And to keep it consistent with the others that I've done so far, un explore underscore music. This next one, I'm going to call confront music. So when I hear this one, I think about the player having to face challenges, uh, some potential enemies. All of that comes to a head when they have to fight. So I'm going to call this particular music segment fight music. So now I have names that make more sense. And I'll be thinking more about what's happening in the game than I will which numbered loop layer I was using. And if you're curious to hear the difference, we can just select these. Explore music sounds like this. When we go up to the confront music, you'll hear that we have that same bouncy rhythmic track plus a little bit of guitar that's been added. And then when we get to the fight music, we have all of those elements plus some additional strings. Well, 
Well, so far, you've seen and heard how the layers work. Now we need to address the looping part of this. And as we found with some of these other objects that we've been creating, it really works best if we put this inside a playlist. In fact, that's really the only way that we can get these to loop, is if we loop them inside a playlist. The process is identical to what we've done before. I'll start here with Explore Music. I'll select the music segment, right click, choose New Parent, and then choose Music Playlist Container. So in order to be consistent with all the other names that we've used so far, this playlist contains Explore Music Segment. I'm going to call this the Explore Music Playlist, and I'll separate all those characters with underscores. Great. So now we have Explore Music, which is in the Explore Music playlist. I'm going to do the same thing here with Confront Music. Right click, New Parent, Music Playlist Container. And I'm going to do the same thing here with Fight Music. Right click, new parent, music playlist container. Give this a new name. Fight underscore music underscore playlist. There we go. It's taking a little while to update, but all the names are as they should be and they contain the music segments that they need to. Now we have to create the looping behavior. Select the playlist. You can see that it shows up over here in the playlist editor. And then as we did before, we'll grab that music segment, drop it under there. This time, when we create the playlist, we need to update the loop count though. These loops need to go, well, infinitely. These loops should never stop because we don't know how long it's going to take someone to play through any of these sections of the game. The loop should play on and on and on until the next musical segment comes along, cues it, and overtakes what's happening with the composition. We'll repeat those exact steps with the next two playlists. Go to Fight Music, drag the music segment down, set the loop count to infinite, Go to intro music, whoops, not intro, uh, confront, that's our next one. Grab the confront music segment, drag it into the playlist, and set the loop count to infinite. And now, all of these are set to go. Each playlist has a different set of music segment tracks that build intensity as the layers accumulate. The loops will repeat infinitely, and they'll accommodate all potential gameplay, no matter how long it goes on. To recap, we have our Explore Music single track, mostly drums, here in the Explore Music playlist. Intensity Builds takes us to the Confront Music playlist. There, we have the same loop layer one with the drums. We've added a little extra percussion and some guitar. We raise the intensity a third time, here with the fight music playlist. Inside of that, we have a track that's mostly drums, additional percussion and guitar, and then we add a third track of additional intensity with some more percussion and uh, a string section. So that shows you how these loop layers all work together in WISE. In the final lesson, uh, there's one that will cover game syncs and switch containers. There you'll learn how to create transitions that will seamlessly crossfade between these layered loops and blend with all the other elements of the composition. Look in the description below for links to additional resources and for the tutorial files that you used here. Thanks for watching.